Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today an update on how I'm doing. I promised you I would update you on how I'm doing with Inside the Battle, the challenge that I'm on right now. I'm really in it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I was challenged by the United States Marine Corps to go inside the battle and see how far I could push myself mentally and especially physically. If you haven't seen that video, it really sets up the whole experience. I'll link to it in the description below and in the cards above. It was wild. I did a physical benchmark test to see where I'm at with actual US Marines. I could not do a pull up. I had a very miserable, slow and terrible 1.5 mile jog. And I did do actually a two minute plank just of sheer will and determination and anger that I couldn't do a pull up. So that's where I started. But how am I doing? That's the point of this update. The challenge started in the beginning of December and I was basically told, get ready. I wasn't really told anything more than that. I made a chart with my goals of where I wanted to be by the end of the challenge. I started with where I am and I would just build my way up from there. I mean, who doesn't love a good spreadsheet? But I also wanted to reward progress and effort rather than actually meeting my milestones in case my goals were gonna be a little bit off. So I also made another chart that I could just fill in if I did it that week and then that would be a success. And I put that one on my fridge with a little motivational quote and some motivational sayings from the Twitch chat from where I announced this. And that is something that I look at every single time I look in my fridge, which during quarantine, is many multiples of times a day. As you may suspect, the holidays threw off my workout consistency a little bit. About mid-January, my running progress is going really, really well. I am running farther and faster than I ever have in my entire life. I've never been a runner. I hate running. So this was really, really exciting to me. This was some early wins and I'm really, really proud of it. Just got home from a 4.3 mile run. It sucked the run today. It sucked. I was in pain the entire time. I wanted it to be over the entire time. When I got home, I looked at my run tracker and I realized that I had shaved off two and a half minutes off my pace. So even though it hurt way more, and it sucked way more, I did way better. And I am really, really, really proud of that. And it just goes to show that sometimes when you're in it, you don't realize how it actually is. You're not seeing it the same way that you're gonna see it when you look back on it. I think if anything, that gives me more motivation to start next time. But while running was going really well, strength was not going really well. I was never able to replicate a two minute plank and I still can't do a pull up. So that's not going very well and I don't really know what else to try. Today is January 26th. I worked out today. I did my strength training today. I worked on getting that pull up. I'm a little bit closer, but not by much. When this all began, I would tense my muscles and go absolutely nowhere. Now when I tense my muscles, I get maybe, you know, couple inches higher off the ground, but it's really not much. I still haven't even gotten my head to the level of the bar, let alone over it. So it's hard. <laughs> this is hard. I haven't been as consistent as I wanted to be because of the holidays is the excuse that I said, but uh, the final test is coming no matter what. So I am going to have to kick it into high gear if I want to reach my goals. I'm supposed to meet with my marine mentor. Uh, we're doing a video call towards the end of the week and I'm hoping I can get some motivation. This has been really hard. So far, I'm in a really challenging portion of it. I'm in a part of the experience where everything feels hard. I don't have any motivation to do anything and I just wanted to be honest with you all about that because that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm just feeling really stressed right now and it feels really hard to add new good habits on top of stress. So we'll see how it goes, but that's where we're at right now. Luckily for me, late January is exactly the time for my first official mentor video check-in. Good evening, Strange Rebel. How are you doing tonight? 
Good evening. I'm doing really well. So I've been updating my uh, workout sheet and I would love to say that I can highlight every single one. <laughs> That's not been the case. I am going to congratulate you. Good. I, I, I'm telling you right now. Good job. Right. Thank you. So you have a multitude of things going against you, including the holidays, uh, COVID. You have plenty of these factors going against you. But there's one thing, right? Guess what? You never quit. You continue to uh, uh, chase down those milestones, which is huge. I tend to struggle with excuses like, but today I'm too tired or but today I'm still sore from the last run or but today, you know, I have a really busy schedule. Things like that hold me back. And that is all mindset. So I know I'm capable but my mindset is what's holding me back first and foremost. That's why having a strategic mindset for me, it's very important mm. because the times just don't go right all the time. You gotta be willing to, you know, make the transition. That book you had, how, uh, how's that been going? This booklet? Oh, that booklet. This booklet right here? Oh, that booklet right there. That one right I gave there. it, I gave it a peruse that first day we got it. Really, the the only pages that I've looked at since then have been the pages on stretching so that I could stretch after <laughs> a <All> workout. Right. <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough. Yeah, that book is like the key to your success inside okay. the battle at Quantico. OK, when you combine mental and physical battles together, they are a team. This term team is another vital key that's going to come in and inside the battle at Quantico because you're going to be working as a team. You are not solo, okay? You're going to be working with the others. So knowledge, teamwork. If you can take anything from this conversation, be those two things. So you ready for this? I don't know. Am I? Am I ready? What I want you to take away from all of this, right? Uh, get yourself ready. Big time. Right? <laughs> you have to. At this point, you have to, all right? Already committed, all right? Biggest thing we're going to be doing is getting you prepared for the upcoming challenges for Quantico, all right? They are going to be pretty intense, and I mean that. Trust okay. me. It was honestly so great to check in with my mentor, Sergeant Samuel, and talk with him about all of the things that I've been struggling with, as well as get some motivation for how to move forward. I have to do better. I have to be more consistent. I have to get that first pull up. Here's what I'm doing to get there. I did a little research. I watched a few YouTube videos and I read a few articles on what to do if you can't do your first pull up yet. The lead up exercises to get that first pull up in, they include scapular pull-ups, inverted rows, negative pull-ups, and band-assisted pull-ups. And so I'm doing all of those as much as I can to be able to get that first pull-up. And one of the things that I haven't been doing, but I'm going to do going forward, is to try to do a pull-up every day. I really think that I can't do a pull-up because I think I can't do a pull-up. And so I'm just going to try every single day. Right now, if I try, I can actually get my arms to 90 degrees. It's that final pull that I'm really struggling with. And so I'm working towards it and I'm not gonna give up. And I think I can do it. Another thing I'm really excited about is the teamwork aspect. We haven't really talked much, the other content creators and I, a little bit here and there, but not very much, but we're already planning a gaming session and we're planning to do a video chat soon. I am so excited to get to know everyone a little bit more. So far, everyone has just been so nice and so welcoming and kind, and I cannot wait to become a real team. It's gonna be great. I am, I am so pumped for what's to come and I'm just so grateful to be a part of this experience. What part of this experience do you relate with the most? And I'm asking you that before we end this video because I have a feeling it's probably the struggles. And that is why I am being completely honest with you in these videos. When I say that I'm struggling, it's because I really am. These things aren't necessarily native to me. They're not necessarily something I'm good at, but I think it's really, really important sometimes to show up and 
be not good at things <laughs> and be vocally not good at things because so much of our lives is seeing the best of other people and that's great sometimes in inspiring us but I think what I'm looking forward to most in this experience is really seeing the bad parts, the parts that I struggle with and being able to say, that's where I'm coming from, but that's not where I'm gonna end up. And so when I tell you that I'm struggling, when I have come up against an obstacle, when I'm disappointed in myself because I still can't do a pull up, I have to be honest about that part too because that is what will make or break, <laughs> hopefully make me and this experience by the end of it when I can do it. And I want you to hold me accountable still. I really mean that. Please do check back in with me. Send me messages on Twitter. Send me Instagram comments saying, where are you? What are you doing? Are you working out? Are you sore right now? I, I really mean that. Let's go on this journey together. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really amazing and I'm excited to see what's next. Thanks for hanging out with me. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to this channel, Strange Rebel Gaming, so you don't miss the next video. And thank you once again to the United States Marine Corps for giving me this opportunity for sponsoring this video. And gosh, I'm just, my whole heart goes out to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all. I love you all. Bye!